Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video I'm going to give you the answers to the five questions that I asked myself when choosing Battle Royale Tycoon. Let's begin. So last week I did a video containing five questions you should ask yourself when choosing your next game. Now in here I will give you my answers with regards to Battle Royale Tycoon, which is my latest game currently on Steam Early Access. Question number one, is it a game you want to make? I've always been a fan of management games, both as a player and as a developer. I spent my childhood playing Theme Hospital and Roller Coast Tycoon, so it's a genre I've always liked. And as a developer, I also like it, since tycoons are very code heavy, which matches my skill set. I enjoy thinking about how to organize the code and how to manage hundreds of guests doing hundreds of different actions. I'm also a fan of shooting games, and I like seeing tiny characters pick up and shoot weapons. And again, as a developer, creating an arena and the AI for the guests to fight in sounded like an interesting challenge. So specifically, with regards to Battle Royale Tycoon, it was a combination of a tycoon game with weapons which very much appeals to all my interests. Question number two, is there a market for your game? The target market is people who enjoy management games, which on Steam is a pretty sizable market. At the top you have Prison Architect, which sells 2 million copies, so it is not a tiny niche. Battle Royale Tycoon combines a tycoon game with weapons, which is a somewhat underserved market. People who like tycoons tend to enjoy management games in general. It's a genre where the average player tries many games as opposed to a multiplayer shooter or a MOBA where people mostly stay in just one game. So based on that and the fact that it's different from the other offerings should mean that there is a market for the game. Question number three, are there similar games that have achieved enough success? In the management genre, there are plenty of successful games like, obviously, again, the insanely popular Prison Architect, but also something like Production Line or Another Brick in the Mall or Gunsmith. For me, the most important thing was the fact that my most successful games were Game Corp and Blueprint Tycoon, which are in the same genre. Going through the management tag on Steam and using the box ladder method of estimating sales, you can see that most do quite alright. The box ladder method is essentially estimating sales based on the number of reviews, with the average number being 50 sales per review. So a game with 100 reviews, you can guess it probably sold around 5,000 copies. So for a production line, you can guess it sold about 50,000 copies, for Gunsmith about 10,000, Chef about 7,000, and Mad Tower Tycoon about 5,000. These are just estimates, but should be good enough to get a rough size of the market. Again, I'm making the game by myself, so I don't need 100,000 copies to get by. The numbers I see on other management games are more than enough success for me. And as you see, it's not an overly crowded genre since these are relatively complex games to make, which means fewer games and on average they sell enough. Compared to a genre like platformer, where you see hundreds of new games and on average they don't sell as well. Question number four, is your idea unique enough to stand out? As I said in the previous video, this is something you very much need to balance. It needs to be unique enough to stand out, but not too unique that it confuses your target audience. So with Battle Royale Tycoon, I believe it perfectly answers this question. At its core, it's a management game where you construct buildings and hire workers while keeping your guests satisfied. So the core gameplay will be familiar to anyone who has played the city builder in the past. Then on top of that familiar core, you have the unique part of the arenas and shooting. Most management games are about one specific thing. There are a bunch of games managing airports, restaurants, cities, and so on. However, not many of them deal with weapons and shooting. The closest I could find is Gunsmith, which is about making the weapons. So my tagline of like Roller Coast Tycoon, but with shooting arenas instead, should be familiar yet unique enough to stand out. Question number five, can you make it? Given that I have previously made games in this genre, like Game Corp, Blueprint Tycoon, and Ninja Tycoon, this question was easy to answer. I knew I needed the grid-based building, which is something I did in Blueprint Tycoon, and I knew I needed guests and workers who could complete the tasks and were visually unique, which is what I did in Game Corp and Ninja Tycoon. The one big question was regarding the waiting queues. I loved seeing the queues in Roller Coast Tycoon, so that was essential for me to have. So I started by doing exactly that. Made the waiting queue, then started to make the arenas with the guests fighting, then the task systems and the workers to clean up. The prototype I started with was the guest spawns, he goes into the waiting queue, he enters the arena, starts fighting when everyone is inside the arena, the fight ends, the guests leave, the workers clean up the arena and everything starts all over again. That was my first playable prototype and after that it was just a matter of expanding everything by adding more buildings, weapons and so on. So there you have it, those are the answers to the 5 questions for choosing Battle Royale Tycoon. Make sure you go through these questions when deciding what your next game should be. They will help you make sure you choose wisely. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.